hello you all welcome 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 and welcome back to another video i know it's been a while since i've been over here on the channel but today we are back with another video okay you guys so in today's video i will be doing a goodwill thrift haul i love 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 thrifting i love repurposing items so i went to the goodwill and i found some amazing items so i just want to share those items with you all if you are new here i would like to welcome you to the channel i would love for you to hit that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome back you all make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified anytime i upload a video after watching the video make sure y'all leave me some comments down below and let me know what y'all think about the items that i got and if you know anybody that would be interested in this type of video or these types of videos make sure you share the video okay now i got quite a bit of stuff y'all i got quite a bit of stuff so let me just show y'all what i got if you're interested in watching just continue watching and like i said let me know what you all think about the items that i got once we are done okay so first i got this here gold tray it's a gold tray and it's kind of like glittery. This was $6.09 at the Goodwill, you all. I love decorative trays. I'm always changing up decor. As you can see, the colors in this room here is black, gold, gray, and a little bit of white, okay? So this will go perfect in here. As I stated, I love to change up my decor. Um, so this was an amazing find for me, you guys. Again, it was $6.09. And I see the tag on here. It was originally from Pier 1. And whoever purchased it paid $15 for it. So, it's a nice size tray that I have. I'll probably use it in this space. I also like to put these um, in my guest room. When I have um, guests, I'll put like little snacks or waters um, and stuff like that on a tray just to kind of make my guests feel welcome. I'll put those on the tray and then just sit it on the bed. Just a little nice touch when I have guests. So here's one of the items that I got here. I got a few trays, y'all. But I'm just gonna show you the, the stuff because I have it here to my side. So um, I'm just gonna show you in the order that it is right here. So I don't make anything fall down or anything. So next up, I got a book, you guys. So this book here is Becoming. It's the book by Michelle Obama. I read that this is a um, good read. Or I've heard that it's a good read. So I just decided to get it because I seen it at the Goodwill. And it was like $2 and some change. So I got this here book, Becoming Michelle Obama. If you read this book, comment down below and let me know what you thought about the book. Okay, you guys? So I'm excited about that. Next up, I got this glass Lazy Susan. It was five dollars. Oh, excuse me. It was five dollars and nine cents. It's just a glass Lazy Susan. These things are a little pricey nowadays. Um, so I was excited to find this. They're very good to use, like in your kitchen, um, on a vanity. Um, in your pantry. Um, I've also used these on my, I already stated that, my vanity. Um, you put your perfumes on, you know, you can spin them around. So this was a really good price for this. Again, like I said, it was $5.09. And again, it is a glass Lazy Susan, okay? I think I found some great items, you all. This here is another tray. Um, it's gold. It looks like it's been spray painted before, so I'll probably have to um, sand it down and spray paint it again. But this is another tray. Like I said, I love decorative trays um, in my home. I'm always changing up the y'all. This one here was $3.09. Again, like I said, I probably need to spray paint it. It looked like it was spray painted previously, so I'll probably have to spray paint it. But this was a really nice tray that I found. 
Next up, I have this here wall picture. It looks like it's about a 12 by 12. Um, it's black and gold, which is my color system here. So what I plan to do with this is put it over here. Y'all can't see it, but there's a window right here. I want to have this um, extended like a floating um, piece of wall art. So I'll have it hanging down, kind of, sort of, a little bit in front of this window, kind of like a piece of floating wall art. Okay, you guys. And normally how you hang those is you'll use like fishing wire so you can't see it. So it'll look like this is just hanging in the air, just like so, without me holding it. So just imagine this just hanging in the air without me holding it. So that's what I plan to do with this. This was originally um, $5.09, but it was half off because it has the color blue. So one reason I mainly got it is because it was half off. It has the color blue on it. I want to never pay $5.09 just for this picture. I'm really cheap when I go to the thrift store, y'all. But um, Plus, the colors match my area in here. So I thought this was really cute. So I got that. And for $2 and some change, it wasn't bad, in my opinion. Okay, so next up, I got another tray, y'all. Another tray. <laughs> I told you, I'll be using these trays everywhere. I'm always switching up. I use them in my bedrooms, in my kitchen. Um, I have this formal living room here. I also have a family room. I also have um, like a sitting area in my basement. So, um, plus two guest rooms. <laughs> so here, this tray was $6.09. Um, these trays used to be fairly cheap if you go to like um, home goods or at home tj maxx marshall's but now they're kind of pricey you go to the store you see a tray like this it's about 30 dollars nowadays so since the pandemic the prices has went up so when i find little stuff like this that i like i get it um like i said i'm always changing out my decor so usually when i'm not using it i will store it in my attic or i also have shelves in my garage that i store my decor items on this here tray was six dollars and nine cents okay next up i got this here pineapple um the colors that i have in my family room right now is gray and yellow um so i'm kind of incorporating some yellow in my kitchen area as well to kind of tie the yellow and the gold together um i like the rooms in my home to flow so I thought this would be a nice touch. And this here was $4.09. So, I thought that was really cute. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I know y'all probably looking like, girl, you got a bunch of stuff, a bunch of junk, but trust me, it ain't junk. It look good when I put it in my space and decorate y'all. I'm just a frugal shopper and I love thrifting. This here is just a little um, storage shelf thingy that I got from my craft room to the store. Um, like staples and stuff, man. This here was $2.09. And it has five tray, five drawers. So I got this just to use for storage in my craft room. All right. So when y'all go to Goodwill, y'all make sure y'all... Just take your time and look around because you'll find some nice, nice, amazing things. I always do, okay? Next, I got these here black candle holders. They did not come in a set. Each one had a price. Sometimes when you find stuff like this, they'll um, combine it together and it'll be one price. But unfortunately, this they all have separate prices, so... This here is the larger of the three. This one was $3.09. And it was originally purchased from the at-home store for $12.99, okay? So it matches my decor, so I grabbed them, okay? Next up, I got this is the um, second largest of the three. Um, it was $2.09 at the Goodwill, originally $9.99 at the at-home store. And then 
this last one here, which is the shorter of the three. Um, it was $1.69 and it was originally $7.99 from the at-home store, okay? So I got those little tea light candle holders. Next up, I thought this little washboard was really cute um, to put in my laundry room. I'll probably paint it because this color doesn't really match in there. I do have like some wood elements in there. But this color of wood don't match. I might sand it down and stain it to match the wood elements that I got in there. I was thinking about painting it black, but I may sand it down and stain it um, so it can match the wood elements that I have in my laundry room. So I just got this to put in my laundry room um, to hang on the wall. It was $6.09. And it just says soap and towel, five cents. It's just a little decor piece just to put in the laundry room. So I'll put this in my laundry room to hang it on the wall. I'll probably put some flowers or maybe some, um, I'll probably fold some uh, washcloths and just stack them in here. Not sure, but got this here. I thought that was really cute. We almost done, y'all. I didn't get too much stuff. I got quite a bit of stuff, but not too much, okay? So next up, I got this here. It's like a little chart board. So as you can see, I've already written on it. I got this to use in my craft room um, when I do my videos. And I've already written on it. If you're not following my craft channel, it's Crafty Lot TV. Y'all go follow my craft channel, okay? So I just got this to use in my craft room. This is a chart board. Um, so I've already written on it. But really, really like it. This is $4.09. I thought this was really, really cute. Just to have sitting off to the side when I do my videos. You can see it in my videos. I did do a video last night with it, which is why it's um, written on already. But I thought this was really, really cute. We got a few more items, y'all. A few more items. This here is just a wall picture. I got it to go downstairs in our basement by the bar area. It says French 75. Um, this here was $4.09, okay? $4.09. It was originally purchased from Z Gallery for $39.95. So I thought that was really cute just to add um, an extra touch to our bar area in our basement really really cute it's really really heavy too you could tell it's a good quality item next up i got these here baskets there's one two three four there's five in this here bundle and they were two dollars and nine cent so i got these to use for um as we all know mother's day and father's day just passed but these are nice baskets that you can use for um when you do like the gift baskets. So I thought that would be good to get for that. Um, I'll just save them and use um, for when I make gift baskets. Again, it was $2.09 for five. This bundle, then I got another bundle. Um, this bundle here was $2.09 as well. And I didn't even count how many was in this bundle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 15 in this bundle. I'm not sure if I'll use these for gift baskets or if I'll just use them in my craft room on shelves. I'll probably put labels on them because these are the colors that's in my craft room. My craft room is pink and purple. So I may just use these. I already have... Um, some storage bins in there, but I may use these in my craft room on the shelves for more storage. But these was $2.09 as well. So you can't beat this 15 um, storage baskets for $2.09. Even if I don't use them and I just give them away, this was a good price, okay? So next I have this here tray right here. I know y'all like, girl, you got a lot of trays. Yes, I did. I like them. I like them. That's just me. Um, this is a metal tray. I tried to 
do a Google search on the tag just to see what this was originally from. It seems like it's a very um, good quality tray. Um, probably was expensive originally, but I paid $4.09 for this tray. Here's the tray next to me. It's a really, really large tray. Um, really, really nice. Again, like I said, I paid $4.09 for this at the Goodwill. So, really, really like this. I really wish I could find out where it originally came from. Um, but I did a Google search and I couldn't find it. But I really like this here tray. It's a metal tray. Really heavy metal. <laughs> but it's really, really nice, you guys. All right. Almost done. I know I done said that probably. This is probably the third time I done said it. But we are almost done. Next up, I just have some books, okay? So I just got... Oh, actually, I think I got one more thing other than the books. So I got these two books here, y'all. I got these two books to do some DIY designer books. Okay? So I want to do a DIY Tom Ford book. And I also want to do a DIY... Um, oh, my goodness. What other book was I going to do? I don't even remember what other book I was going to do. But I know I want to do a Tom Ford book. So... I'll be using one of these to do a DIY time for book. I will be doing that video and posting it on my craft channel. So again, if you're not following my craft channel, Craft A Lot TV, go over there and follow me, you guys, because you'll see me DIY these books over there, okay? So that's why I got these books. I got two of them. One to do a time for, and the other one, I think I was going to do the other one, um, a DIY bold book. Um, the time four that I'm going to do is going to be black and gold. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. I did do some DIY books a few days ago. Um, that video is on my craft channel, but I'm going to show y'all the books that I did here. Okay. But next up, I have these black candle holders. These are candle holders. They cost $2 and nine cents. I got two of them. They're both the same size. As y'all can see, black, gold, and gray. And just a hint of white is my colors in here. So I got these candle holders. I do have some large candles already. So I'll probably just sit those on here. Again, these are $2.09. And I think that's just about it, you guys. So here is the books that I did. The other day, I DIY'd these books using books from the Goodwill. This one here just says Chanel Catwalk. I painted the book black and I cut the decals out with my Cricut and put them on there. I wanted some designer books for my space, but I didn't want to spend the price that they was asking for the designer books, so I just DIY'd my own. This bottom book is a Louis Vuitton Catwalk book. I DIY'd this one as well using a Goodwill book. So that is what I'm going to do with the uh, the two books that I just showed you. I'm going to DIY those books and add them in my living space, okay? So, yeah, that is what I got the books for. And then I want to show you all another item that I got from the Goodwill. I did a video, um, a few videos back with this item. Again, this item that I DIY. So most of my DIYs and craft stuff is on my craft channel. So you'll have to go there to see it. Um, but I just want to show you all what you could do with stuff that you find at the Goodwill. Like I said, I love thrifting. I love DIYing. So I got this here. Oh, let me lift it up and hopefully it don't fall. So I got this here. This was originally a lamp, okay, you guys? So I seen the detail on this lamp, and I'm like, that would be really cute as a faux ginger jar, okay? So I got it. It was like a gray when I first got it. I spray All I did was spray painted it black. I took the, um, I took the lamp fixture off, you know, the piece that you screw your bulb in, and it still had this metal piece here. So I use this here, which is a bowl, and then I use like a candle holder right here, 
And then just, this is just a, um, a little plastic ball I glued up here and then some beads I glued down here to kind of make me a top. So here I have a faux ginger jar, okay? And I didn't even pay $10 for this. I didn't even pay $10 for this. So it's really, really cute. So think outside the box when y'all go to the Goodwill. I've been wanting a really large ginger jar for a while now. Um, They used to have them really inexpensive at Home Goods, at Home Marshalls, TJ Maxx. You usually, you usually can find one about this size for about $30 or $40. Now they like $80, $90, $100. Now that's still, that's not too much, but that's not the price I want to pay. So I found this nice lamp at the Goodwill, y'all, and I just DIY me a full ginger drawer. I mean, I don't need the, um, you know, it's a, a ginger drawer is open at the top, so I don't really like want to put any flowers or anything in there. I just want the ginger jar with the top, just, you know, for a nice piece of decor. So just think outside the box if you're a Goodwill shopper or if you like to do DIYs, um, repurpose things because the possibilities are endless. It is, you guys. So that is it for this video. Hopefully you all like this video. Again, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. Ugh. Sorry, y'all. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to the channel. Make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload a video. Make sure y'all comment down below to let me know what you like, what you didn't like, if you thrift shop. Um, also, if you've read that uh, Becoming Michelle Obama, y'all let me know if y'all read that book and how you liked it. Um, but that is it for this video, you guys. Make sure y'all give me a thumbs up. And that's it for this video, you guys. Until next time, 